The worst thing that I can do as a writer, and I don't know if this is true for other writers, but for me, um, the worst thing I can do is sit in front of a blank page and just say, okay, today I'm going to be creative. <laughs> like, nothing good ever comes from, from forcing things. It's, it's always, um, you're stuck in traffic, or you're taking a shower, and you just get the ending to the movie. Um, it's things that pop in there that you can't really explain, and I try not to, this is going to sound strange, but I try to, th to think very much about these things, because I, I, I always get in my own way and paralyze myself if I analyze too much. Um, it's, it's things that just kind of feel right, and um, I, I know how pretentious artisty this can sound, um, but I can relate to other artists when they say that sometimes they feel strange taking credit for their own work. Um, because sometimes it, is, it, it doesn't seem like work, it doesn't seem like you're really coming up with anything, you're not really calculating anything, it's just things that you catch. And, and I'm convinced that the, the subconscious, it's like, it's like a party in your head that you're not invited to. <laughs> you know, yeah, the, there's like a black curtain in the way, and there's velvet ropes, and you hear cool music coming out of there sometimes. <laughs> and there's little big holes in the curtain where there's lights, and then you can kind of see some glimmers of things that fall out. Uh, and what I do, at least, it, I gather these little scraps that I kind of telegraphed from somewhere, and when it's time for me to write, it's, it's just gathering them in some sort of form.